Verse 26. So you know she came and fell at his feet. Verse 26. The woman was a Greek. See, the woman was a Greek. Just like Alexander the Greek. A Syrophoenician by nation. Like I said, coming from Canaan. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But the master of Shai said unto her, remember he asked her not a word. But he kept, she kept on insisting that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But you see, he didn't answer her, he didn't answer her at first. So she kept messing with him. So let the children first be filled, he said. The children are who? The children is. He just said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said, let the children first be filled. For it is not meat or right to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. So he called them all dogs. Don't get it twisted now. David prophesied what a Messiah would say when he was on the cross. In Psalms 22 and 16. Psalm 22, 16. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. So we call them the dogs. This is a name. This is a word that was used by the, it tells you in the New English Bible Dictionary, a word that was used by the Israelites pertaining to the Gentiles because of their profaneness, probably a reference to pro their profaneness and homosexuality. That's what it says in the New Unger's Bible Dictionary. Look it up for yourself. So he said, going back to Mark 7, 27, but Amashel Shai said unto her, let the children first be filled. For it is not meet or right to take the children's bread, which is blessings, and to cast it unto the dogs. Dogs, he said. That's why when you look at uh, when she besought him, that means she kept begging him. She was begging him. Verse 28. And she answered and said unto him, this is what she said after he called them all dogs. Yes, master. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. I mean, they, supposed, they can get the little blessings that's left from the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, for this saying, for her saying that, go thy way. The devil is gone out of that daughter. That she admitted there were dogs. And the fact that the blessings that's left after the children of Israel are blessed, she can receive. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed. See? Romans 9.13 Romans 9.13 As it is written, Jacob have I loved. So the most I say he loved Jacob. Jacob was the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. But Esau have I hated. So People think that the most I don't hate, he just tell you that Esau have I hated. You say, Esau have I hated. You say, what shall we say then? Say, what you got to say now? Is there unrighteousness with the most high? You say he's unrighteous because he loved Jacob and he hate Esau? You say, most high forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, because you want him to love you, or you despise him hating you. Not of him that runneth, but of the most high. This of the most high that showeth mercy. And he said in Isaiah 14 and 1, I will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Hear that? The ones you trust in. Now, same Pharaoh, same type of position that we're in, in captivity, 
under the Pharaoh or the leaders. He told Pharaoh, he said, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. You hear that? The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, that's my name forever and memorial to all generations. Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. That his name will be proclaimed throughout all the earth. It's all about the Most High. Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. That's why you see what's happening with us. He's hardening people's minds so that we really realize he's our only help. And until you realize that, you will see this affliction more and more and more. You talking about Jacob's trouble? Oh, you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Let's see. We didn't want to do what he said do. He told us he's going to do this. It's all here. Throughout our generation, generation. If our fathers would have taught us this Bible, this truth, sought out the real word of what it's talking about, as we, that the Most High has called to understand this word in these last days, desired, and still studying to try and, find, you know, making sure that we approve to the Most High, the Most High will. They didn't. They trusted in their own way. It was a snare to them. So Isaiah 40 and 17. That's Esau representing the Edomites. What about all the other nations outside from the 12 tribes of Israel? He already said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Remember Psalm 96 and 5 For all the gods of the nations are idols So Psalms 40 And 17 Psalms 40 17 All nations before him are as nothing And they are counted to him less than nothing And vanity you Hear that? All nations before him are as nothing Nothing Remember he said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth to the Israelites. But he said, all other nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Vanity. Worthless, he said. Verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. One little drop. Boop, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Dust that's on the scale. Behold, he taketh up the isles, the, the nations that's not of the 12 tribes of Israel, that's in these islands, as a very small thing. Now, some of you might say, well, that, that means the Israelites too. No, it doesn't. Jump up to verse 1. Isaiah 40 and 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Who said it? Said the Most High. So we're saying this here throughout this whole chapter. Speaking comfortably to Jerusalem. Meaning we the children of Israel. That's the land we come from. Jerusalem. Inquire unto her that her welfare is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received of the Most High's hand double for all her sins. So to say we ain't nothing, that wouldn't be comforting. But he told us to comfort. He said comfort you. Comfort you my people. Comfort. We receive double for all our sins. Understand this, overstand this. So therefore, when we go to um, Malachi, the first chapter, because it said in Romans 9 13, as it is written, right? Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So go to the last prophet in the Old Testament, Malachi 1 and 1. This is where it was written. You understand this because. Majority of the things that you read in the New Testament are coming from the Old Testament because they only had the law and the prophets, everyone that walked the earth. They only had the law and the prophets. That's all. That's all they had. The law and the prophets. Let's see. So, this is where it's written. Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word of the Most High to Israel by Malachi. He said, I have loved you, said the Most High. Like we said in Romans 9, 13, 
as it is written, Jacob have I loved. So he said, the burden of the word of the Most High to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, talking to the 12 tribes of Israel, said the Most High. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Say, wherein have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Going all the way back to Genesis 25 and 25 and 26. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Most High, yet I love Jacob. See, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains. You know, they would come. these people would come from the mountains. Like the Caucasians come from the Caucasus Mountains between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea in South Georgia, Russia. I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See? That's where it's written. Most of the things you read in the New Testament are written from the Old Testament. Job 9 24. Job 9.24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He who is the wicked covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You ever heard about the Renaissance period in 1492 on? They started whitewashing everything. Michelangelo... And Leonardo da Vinci, they started whitewashing everything. I'm going to show you over and over again, like this, showing that this is supposed to be, a my shot, supposed to be all brothers in that picture. But they whitewashed it to be Caucasians. That's why I say the earth is getting to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is he? If it ain't him. Look in the Bibles. Whose picture's in there? It's their picture. It's just the truth. So your brain polluted to believe that that's the, that's the truth. You're not washed because you're washed, you be clean. And you're clean by the word. And the word says this is what they would do, and they did it. You know, come on. First Maccabees 3.48 says, laid in the, where the heathen laid open the book of the law, where the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. It's already known. How do you think how much that was I felt? Knowing that he was on this earth, and when he go, they're going to paint his picture as Caesar Borgia. Knowing this, like you living now, you know once you're gone, they're going to say you was, you was a, uh, and you didn't have a great inheritance for your children and and all the rest of your, your family and so forth, and they give it to some white person, so-called white person, or Edomite. And you know this is what they're going to do as you're on this earth knowing. Because it's, well, come on. Pocket was already, that's what they had, the law and the prophets. So it was already written. They was going to do this. Prophesied about him in the Old Testament. He already know this. Why, well, it was a lot, a lot of grief, man. Think about that. You know that everything that you have accumulated in your life will be given to another nation. Either my nation. They're going to say, you as an Edomite, you and everything that you have goes to an Edomite that you don't even know. They don't even exist while you're living. going to come what? Some almost 400 and 400, 400, uh, 400 something years later, 90 something years later, and you know it. You ever thought about that? He knew this was going to go down. Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. He knew this was going to happen. Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, said the Most High, unto the wicked. Say, ain't no peace to the wicked. Most High said this. You understand? So when you understand Daniel's four and seven. 
17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. This is Daniel 4, 17. And demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living, we the living, may know that the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, that's the most high we serve. Ruler in the kingdom of men. You hear that? So the most high set up the king that or the president or the pharaoh or the leader of a country, the most high ruler in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will. Listen, and set up, up over it the basis of men. That's deep. The basis of men. The lowest of men. That's what he's saying. And remember Satan, when the Mashiach Bashai fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan showed the Mashiach Bashai all the kingdoms of the world. So he's seen this day. He's seen the kingdoms of the world. He said, All can be thine if you do what? Bow down and worship me. So y'all think they worship the most high. Some kind of because you've been brain polluted. <laughs> The most I say, he set up over, over the kingdoms, the bases of men. That's the lowest of men. Bases of men. Look, go to uh, Song of Three Holy Children in the Apocrypha, verse 9. He said he set up over it the bases of men. So let's see. The song of three holy children. Let's see who he set up. Verse 9. And thou didst deliver us unto the hands of lawless enemies. Lawless enemies. Most hateful forsakers of the most high. And to an unjust king. And the most wicked in all the world. Remember the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He said the most wicked in all the world. Man. That's deep. The most wicked in all the world. Hmm. An unjust king. And the most wicked in all the world. What does that mean? Break that down. If thou mayest. <laughs> what does that mean? It's pretty deep. I know that. He ruled in the kingdom of men, set up the bases of men. So they below all mankind, the lowest, and then to an unjust king. See, look, um, the three holy, the 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 uh, song of the three holy children represent. Um, let me get their Hebrew name. Um, go to Daniel, the first chapter. And look at verse 7. It says, unto whom the prince of the Enochs gave names. So they always naming us. We go to captivity, we get a different name. Now we got different names now, our last names and so forth. For he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, right? And to Hananiah, he's the Hebrew name, Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego, right? So those are three holy children. 
Hananiah, um, Mishael, and Azariah, Azariah. They call them Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You see, I know them by heart. Those are the names that they gave them. I had to go back and look at the Hebrew names. I haven't went over in a while. But look at uh, Daniel's 3. Uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar threw him in a hot, fiery furnace. Look at what he said, Daniel's 3. And 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. And rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire, furnace, into the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. They put the three of them in the fiery furnace. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. Walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth. Is like. The son of the most high. How about that. The form of the fourth. Is like the son of the most high. Now we in captivity under the Babylonians. Ethiopians. And he recognizing who? Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. But let them tell it to pollute your mind. They say, oh, the sons of the gods. It didn't say that, did it? It said, the form of the fourth is like the son of the most high, right? But the translators think that it's talking about. The sons of gods. It didn't say gods. It said God. Son of God. Son of the most high. That's what it says. Then Nebuchadnezzar. Show you. To prove it. Then Nebuchadnezzar came. Near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. And spake and said. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You servants of the most high power. You hear that? He acknowledging the most high power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power. This the part most they said, I'm going to help you. Did you believe this story? He said, we destroyed ourselves. He said, but I'll help you. Being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was in the hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire that passed on them. This we just read out the song of the three holy children. Did Nebuchadnezzar speak and said, Blessed be the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, period. And Jacob being the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, period. Who have sent his angel, who is who? Verse 25, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the son of the most high. Who is he? An angel. Even the heathen, Nebuchadnezzar, recognized the angel of the most high, the spirit of the most high, as the most high son. Verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel. Hear this? Sent his angel, who is the son of the Most High, and delivered his servants that trusted in him. Hear that? That trusted in him. Most High said, I'm your help. All you need is me. 
But he been saying that from the beginning. He said, all you need is me and the tree of life right there. Mark Chapter Shai said, St. John 14 and 6, I am the, and he answered and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up to the Father but by me. And when there is no New Testament, he's saying this, all he had to go by was the law and the prophets. But a lot of people don't realize it. That's why you see, here he is right here. But he's an angel. He's a spirit. Verse 28, Daniel's third chapter, Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power of Abraham, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any power except their own power. That's powerful. He said, Therefore I make a decree that every people nation and language would speak anything amiss against the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill. That's a crap house. Because there is no other power that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. See? Think that's going to happen in our kingdom? Or the kingdom that we're in now? I don't think so. Shame, shame, shame. And you're going to be shamed in following the shadow of your mind being brain polluted by Pharaoh. What if Pharaoh did this in our kingdom? Or wherever we are. I'm saying our kingdom, but I mean wherever we are. Because we can't say that we ain't in it. We in it. Think he going to do it? No, he's not going to do it. Too much pride. But I tell you what, everything that's going to happen in this future, you remember these words, and you shall know that I am the most high, that he is the most high. He always said that to us. And everybody hear my voice. <clears throat> You're going to know that he is the most high. Matthew 22, 32. I am, he said, the most high, the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. The most high is not the power of the dead, but of the living. Through the power of Abraham, who had a son named Isaac, who had a son named Jacob, who became the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's it. Case closed. Ain't nothing else to talk about. If you're not of the 12 tribes, as he said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. Israelites, 12 tribes of Israel. That's what he said. I didn't write it. I'm just bringing it forth. This is what he said. We just got to hear and adhere and be obedient to what he's saying and accept it. I mean, you look at it. Ain't nobody who's still crying about us. They tell us to get over our slavery and the things that we've been through as a people until this day. Just forget about it. Leave it alone. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Is it really okay? We're going to see. Isaiah 45 and 18. Isaiah 45 and 18. But thus said the Most High. You know, he said it. This is what the Most High has to say. That created the heavens. The Most High himself that formed the earth and made it. 
He has established it. He created it, not in vain. He created this earth in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the most high, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in the dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob. I said, I said not unto the seed of Jacob. Seek ye me in vain. He said, I ain't tell you to seek me in vain. I the most high speak, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. See what he said, he declared things that are right. We got to recognize Deuteronomy 30 and 19. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. He speaks things that's right. And he's not a man he should lie. So hear the word of the most high. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to work it. Record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death. Those are choices we have. You talking about you got your free will? This is your free will right here. I have, I call the heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. We got a choice to choose life, that's everlasting life, or death, be thrown in the lake of fire. Blessing and cursing. Hear that? Blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Most High thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice. Keep 